They live among us. You see them on subways, in public parks, maybe even in your apartment building. Here in New York, many of us are desensitized to their plight, and it can be helpful to remember that they're people too. We're talking, of course, about the extremely beautiful. Every year seems to bring another article about the particular burdens of being not just attractive, but exceptionally attractive. Vice did a piece a couple of years back called Extremely Beautiful People Talk About What It's Like to Be Extremely Beautiful, and it contained this quote, I've never had a proper job interview. I usually just have an informal chat and then get offered the job. Cool, that's, that's cool. Here to tell us more about the challenges of winning the genetic lottery, we're joined by 112BK's resident extremely beautiful person, Brian Ank. Brian, oh my God, it's like, it's actually like a little hard to look directly at you. Um, I know, and I apologize for um, that. Thank you for being sensitive uh, to your effect on people. What is it like to be you? Well, every day is a struggle, and I think you said a lot of really good and important things, and I'm so glad that you at uh, 112BK are putting a spotlight on you know, my community. I like that Vice did something about it, but um, it's not just beautiful people. It is uh, you know, luxurious people, gorgeous people, beautiful people, pretty people, or as we call it, the LGBT community. And it's it's nice to hear that our voices are being heard. Mm -hmm. um, you, in the article, in the Vice article, it mentions uh, one person talks about how people get so nervous that they drop things around him. Is that something that you can identify with? It is. I mean, even just today, I uh, came in here and I, you know, walked into a room and women started, you know, uh, shaking. They started, you know, kind of getting uh, excited and all that kind of stuff. And it may have been because I accidentally walked into the women's bathroom. Are you able to date? Do you, do you have to limit yourself to apps like Raya, where you can date other extremely beautiful people and extremely minor celebrities? Well, most of us in that community, uh, you know, we don't date each other that much um, just because we don't, you know, people yell at us for that. We think it's unfair mm. for us to not share our beauty with the rest of the world. When did you first realize that you were extremely beautiful? Uh, well, I wasn't aware of it at the time, but when I was born, um, and people think, you know, that being beautiful is genetic. My parents are very ugly, and it's not a genetic thing. So this was a nurture situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. So I, I, I was born beautiful, and I was actually stolen by a nurse at the hospital. She said, damn, that's a beautiful baby, and she took me away. What about friends? Is it hard to make friends uh, with with men, do men hate you? Are they jealous of you? The only friends that I have are blind because... That makes sense, that makes sense. They don't judge me for who I am. Mm. They hear me as opposed to just see me. You do have a rather beautiful voice though as well, I will say. I know, um, when I talk to them I have to use a different type of voice. This is um, a difficult hand that you've been dealt, I will say. I appreciate you. Um, that. What about jobs? Um, another person in the article mentioned, uh, as we just said, that they had never had to interview for a job. They were just sort of handed jobs. I've never applied for anything in my life. And um, just job, you can't, you know, walk into my apartment without seeing just job applications everywhere because everyone wants me to be a part of their life, be a part of their workforce. People unsolicited are sending you applications for I, jobs. For things that I have no idea what to do. Right. Uh, rocket scientists, uh, uh, um, waiters and waitresses. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do, I don't, I've never even ordered a drink in my life. People just hand me things. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And it's so, I walk around with a spare bag in my backpack because people just give me three things, free things and I have to carry that, that physic, physical burden. That is well a physical that burden. It's a lot to carry burden. on your shoulders uh, and in bags. Um, there was an article in The Cut where an anonymous, extremely beautiful person, perhaps you know her, um, talked about how as she has aged and put on a little bit of weight, she has been able to pass as a normal person. Um, but with you being a man, you know, we as society have decided that your attractiveness will only increase as you get older. What is it like knowing that it's only going to get worse for you? You know, it's it's difficult because we call it the Clooney effect in the uh, in the world, and it's just going to get harder and harder. And instead of you know 
not being able to breathe or be able to do things like I used to. I just, you know, get more and more attractive. Oh, my God. You're even extremely beautiful when you're sad, maybe even more so. Thank you. Um, Brian, thank you so much for coming on the show. I hope that our viewers uh, will develop some empathy around your plight as a result of your speaking out. Thank you. I hope so.